Hey everyone, it's Boston Blaisdell here. Hope you're doing well and thanks for joining today's Second Life University class. A series of videos and tutorials helping you to learn about the vast virtual world of Second Life. We're continuing the set of videos on avatar customization and today we're focusing on the brand new Gen X bodies by Belisa. This is a female mesh body which comes in two versions named Classic and Curvy. As always, I'll be giving an overview of how to set the bodies up, looking at the shaping and some of the differences between the two bodies. We're also going to dive into the HUD to explore some of the customization options, and I'll be showing you a selection of fashion, clothing, skins, and add-ons from various creators who have already produced items for the Belisa Gen X body. All so that you can have fun with creating unique looks for your avatars. With all of that said, let's get into it. Alright, so to start off, we're here at the opening round of the Gen X event. With mesh bodies in Second Life, one of the biggest indicators of adoption is how much clothing compatibility there is for a new body. Belisa have actually already collaborated with hundreds of Second Life creators to ensure that there's a huge amount of clothes, skins and add-ons ready and rigged for the Gen X bodies. As I mentioned, there's two versions of the body, classic and curvy. And at the time of recording this, there's a discounted rate if you choose to buy both as a fat pack. So let's check it out. Okay, so we've unpacked the classic version of the body and I'm going to talk you through what's included in this folder. The body itself is listed here. The regular one says SLUVs, which this avatar is now wearing. There is another one here which has custom UV mapping for the feet. What this means is that body skin creators now have an extended option to create more realistic looking feet textures. So you'll start to see this as a bonus being offered by some of your favorite skin creators. And I'm going to show you how that looks shortly. I'm also attaching the HUD and this is the controller that we're going to be using to configure parts of the body. We're also wearing some of the included underwear which comes with this body. There's some shoes and a bodysuit that's included. The bodysuit looks really chic and classy, so I'll show you that when we come on some of the clothing looks. Over here, we've got two separate objects for the Bakes on Mesh body skins and also body freckles as well. So I'm just opening up the body skins by right clicking and then selecting add. And this is going to create a separate folder for these items. So now we've got the separate skins folder open, which I've accessed under the recent tab in my inventory. Belisa have provided a decent range of body skins in 14 different tones, which is really great to see. I'm just cycling through a few different colors here. The texture of the skin looks pretty good. And we've also got the option to add body freckles from the other folder. So you can get some nice depth and realism on the body. You can of course upgrade the skin by purchasing one from a store of your choice. All of the major skin stores have already been quite active with producing skins for the Gen X body. And this one is the Hera body skin by Not Found, which has recently been updated for Belisa. Always one of my favorites because they have different body types such as fit, athletic, curvy, and skinny. And I'm swapping the Grace face skin by Not Found with one that's named Cami to match the darker body tone. And as I mentioned before, what you'll now be seeing in most skin packs are two different applications for the skin. You're going to have a set which are labeled as SL Feet, and then you'll have another set which are labeled as custom feet. So let me explain how this works. We're currently wearing the SLUV Belisa body from the main folder. So if I was to swap the skin to one which says custom feet, it's not going to render correctly because we're not wearing the correct version of the body. So what we need to do is go back to our main Belisa folder. I'm going to add the version of the body which states custom feet. We're going to detach the one that says SLUV and now the skin's going to render correctly because we've matched the correct version of the body with the correct version of the skin. So key point here is that there are no additional purchases that need to be made. You basically have the flexibility to choose between the two types of application. Over to the HUD. So the first tab here is named Style and at the top here we can easily toggle between an applier system for our layers and Bakes on Mesh. So if you want to use these applier skins, when we click on it, we'll see that our system avatar comes crashing through and it automatically moved the slider from bomb to normal. If you wanted to use this applier method, you would need to also wear an alpha mask to cover the system body. 
there wasn't an alpha included with the Belize body, so I'm just using one which comes with the Lelooka head. And once you have that on, you can just go ahead with using the skins on the HUD. Now for me, I personally wouldn't recommend using the plier skins. It's a little bit outdated now. You're definitely going to run into issues with trying to blend your head skin and the body skin, particularly if you're wearing a Lelooka head, which is bomb only. You're going to have much more ease if you use bomb skin layers from your inventory, like I demonstrated previously, and you'll also have the benefit of being able to stack different layers on top of each other. But it's good that Belize are giving their customers the choice of both. You'll get all of the same choice of skin tones and freckle layers included with both methods. But sticking with this style tab on the HUD, if we click on the settings button, this is where we can play with the materials and also add some body shine to the skin. We can use this glossiness slider down here to control the gloss level. But what I've done is just move the position of the sun so that we can see the shine more effectively. You can do that under your world menu, then go to environment and then personal lighting. The shine effect can look really good on your avatar if you're in a darker environment and you've got some projector lights pointing towards your avatar. And of course, for the materials to display, make sure that you have advanced lighting switched on via your graphics preferences. And this is where you can also play with third-party add-ons. We're going to try out this spotted shine effect product by the creator This Is Wrong, which has been made specifically for the Gen X body. There's a little trick for getting this to work. Firstly, click Apply on the product HUD. This will then remove the bakes on mesh, so you need to re-enable that by clicking BOMB again. And then use the glossiness slider around halfway and we get this really cool, almost leopard effect on the Gen X body. This is wrong, I've also updated some of their older releases so that it's compatible with this body. So you can have a look at those at their main store if you want to shop for some more fun add-ons for this body. Or just get a re-delivery if you've bought them in the past. We can also change the colour of the shine by using the gloss tint button. Pick your colour from the palette and then bring the vertical slider down for the colour to apply. Now, small caveat here, at the time of recording, there is a small glitch, which means you can't actually remove the body shine product once you've applied it. The only workaround is to get a re-delivery of the body. You can actually do that via the Belisa HUD if you haven't kept hold of the original object in your objects folder. But hoping for this to be fixed pretty soon by Belisa, since it's a new body, we do expect a few minor bugs here and there. Okay, so in terms of shape in the body, I'd say this is a very versatile body from Belisa. Whether you want something quite slim and delicate or a body that's more fuller figured with a curvier frame. At the moment, there aren't any shapes included with the body. I did shape this one myself. This is more on the slimmer side for the classic body. If you do like a smaller bust, the classic body may be a better option. But if you want something a bit thicker, I'd suggest trying the curvy body over the classic one. You're going to have a bit more freedom on the shape sliders, such as body fat, saddle bags, love handles, hips, legs, and bust. In any case, I'd recommend demoing both of them so you can get an idea if you're able to achieve the look that you like. The beauty of Second Life is that all shapes and sizes are welcome in this world, so feel free to express yourself in any way you desire. This is definitely a body which offers lots of options and diversity. Back over to the HUD for some more customization options. For the nails, you can change the color in this section here and just scroll across for some more colors. The style of the nails can be changed within the shape menu. We've got a few different finishes here as you'd expect. In terms of upgrading the nails beyond what you get in the HUD, I'll show you how to use some different ones. Firstly, you need to go to the alpha section on the HUD, switch off the nails which come with the body, then you can apply your third-party ones from your inventory. I'd recommend these mesh nails by the creator Alma. This product allows you to paint each nail with different colors and also adjust the length and shape of them as well. The jewelry that's being worn here is by creator Raw and they've rigged these new rings for the Gen X body. They also provide lots of customization options in the HUD for switching different parts on and off. So you can have a few rings showing or the full set depending on how you feel. And let's have a look at some of the clothing options for this body. I'll put the name of the creators on the screen. Going back over to this alpha section on the HUD, this is where you can use it to hide cuts of the body if any of the mesh is clipping through the clothing. You can also use buttons on the side to hide whole sections of the body if you need to. 
You can turn the body around using the ruler symbol at the bottom. And if you want to save any alpha slots, just long press the slot and then click save. And then if you need to reuse that alpha slot in future, just single click it and then select load. And just hit the reset button to restore everything back to normal. If you don't want to use the alphas from the HUD and you prefer to use manual alpha layers which come in the clothing folders, you can still wear these, but just make sure that you change the alpha mode on the HUD for this to show correctly. Another feature of this body is under the X tab in this HUD. We can't show it on this video, but there are some creative configuration options for the nether regions of the body. So you can check that out if you grab a demo. Belisa have now opened their designer applications to the public, which means that Gen X development kits are available. So now any creator can apply to work with the bodies. There's also a free applier kit with Belisa's UVs in world. So you can teleport over to their main store to get hold of it. And once some of the bug fixes are ironed out, Belisa will be releasing a modifiable version of the body. So creators can look forward to seeing that. And the current Gen X event, which is showcasing different designers, is going to be running throughout the whole of October 2022, and then potentially some quarterly events based on the success of the current round. It's an impressive offering by Belisa, fully functional and easy to set up. Definitely check it out for yourselves, experiment with some shaping and customization. Thank you for watching guys, feel free to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. You can also leave a comment if you have any questions. I'll check in every now and then and try to respond as best as possible. But take care of yourselves, everyone. I will see you soon.